Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on algebraic fractions. Well, what is an algebraic fraction? Well, an algebraic fraction is a fraction whose numerator and denominator are algebraic expressions. In this tutorial, we'll look at simplifying a range of algebraic fractions by identifying common factors in a numerator and denominator. We'll be using prerequisite knowledge such as factorizing. So let's start by looking at a very simple question. Here the question wants us to simplify. It looks confusing, but actually it's very simple. It's simple like the fraction 10 over 12. Well, we know if we were to cancel down, it gives us a fraction of 5 over 6. But let's look at it in more detail. Well, breaking 10 over 12 gives us the factors of 2 times 5 as our numerator and 2 times 6 as our denominator. Now, the factors of 2 cancel leaving 1 times 5, which we know is 5, and 1 times 6, which we know is 6. So the knowledge we have here can be applied to this question. So let's write out our factors and see if we can cancel down any factors. Well, this is equivalent to 4, y plus 3, y plus 3, y plus 3. So you can see this is our y plus 3 cubed. And we know y plus 3 squared is simply y plus 3, y plus 3. Now, just like we did before, let's cancel out our common factors. Well, I can cancel these, and I can also cancel these. Thus leaving me with 4, y plus 3 as my numerator, and 1 times 1, well that gives me 1 as my denominator. So I'm going to leave my simplified expression as this. So now let's use the same concept and simplify this question. Well, I know this is equivalent to g minus 7 9 times. I also know this is g minus 7 3 times. Just like we did before, let's cancel out our factors. Well, you can see cancelling out our factors gives us a final answer of g minus 7 to the power of 6. So now let's look at a slightly harder question where we're asked to simplify fully 3x squared minus 6x over x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now this is slightly harder because before the factors were very clear. So now we have to use our prerequisite knowledge of factorizing. So let's factorize our numerator. Well, factorizing 3x squared minus 6x gives me 3x bracket x minus 2. And using our knowledge on factorization of a quadratic, we know we have x minus 2, x plus 4. So now let's rewrite our algebraic fraction. So we now know 3x squared minus 6x over x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equivalent to 3x bracket x minus 2 over our x minus 2 and our x plus 4. Now it's clear to see the factors that we can cancel down. So let's cancel down our x minus 2, thus giving me 3x as my numerator and x plus 4 as my denominator. Sometimes you don't have to include the brackets if it's just a simple linear denominator. Now let's look at a slightly harder question. Here I asked to simplify completely 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 over our 4x cubed plus 2x squared. Just like before, we can't cancel out our factors because they're not clearly identified in the question. So we need to use our knowledge on factorization. So looking at our numerator and referring back to our prerequisite knowledge on factorizing, you can see 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 is equivalent to 2x plus 1, x minus 5. Looking at our denominator and factorizing, we've got 4x cubed plus 2x squared is equivalent to 2x squared bracket 2x plus 1. Now we can recognize our algebraic fraction to be 2x plus 1, x minus 5, over our 2x squared bracket x plus 1. Now because we factorize, we can clearly cancel down our factors, giving us x minus 5 as our numerator and 2x squared as our denominator. So now we know how to simplify algebraic fractions. Let's look at another form of simplification, where we're asked to express the algebraic fraction as a single fraction or in its simplest form. This part of the tutorial will require prerequisite knowledge in adding and subtracting 
dividing and multiplying fractions. So let's have a look at this question. We're given 4 over x plus 2, add 3 over x minus 2. And we're asked to write this as a single fraction in its simplest form. So just like before, let's have a look at a simple fraction. For example, 2 over 9, add 5 over 7. Now let's use the cross multiply method. Here you can see 7 times 2 is our 14, 9 times 5 is our 45. The question says add, so I've put my addition here, and 9 times 7 is 63. Then simplifying simply gives me 59 over 63. This cross multiply method is going to be applied to your algebraic fractions too. So let's apply the same method here. Well, using the cross multiply method, we're going to multiply. So we have x minus 2 multiplied by the 4 is here. The x plus 2 multiplied by the 3 is here. The question says add, so I've put my addition here. And just like before, the x plus 2 and the x minus 2, 2 are multiplied, and I've left them here. It's best to leave the denominators in its factorized form if we can, because we might need to cancel down later on. So now, let's simplify the numerator. Well, expanding out 4 times x is our 4x, 4 times the minus 2 is our minus 8, 3 times our x is our 3x, and 3 times our 2 is our 6. Our denominator is still x plus 2 and x minus 2. Simplifying our numerator simply gives me 7x minus 2 over our x plus 2 and our x minus 2. You can expand the denominator if you wish, but there's really no need as you'll receive full marks. Here the question wants us to simplify fully 4 over 2 minus x subtract our 3 over x. Well, it's still algebraic fractions and subtraction. So we're using our prerequisite knowledge on addition and subtraction of fractions, using our knowledge on the cross multiply method. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So applying our cross multiplication method, it's clear to see 4 multiplied by the x is our 4x, 3 multiplied by the 2 minus x is illustrated here, and we're subtracting, so I've put my subtraction sign here. Then we know the denominators multiply, so I've left it in its factorized form. Now I'm going to simplify the numerator to give me 4x subtract, or 3 times 2 is our 6, Minus 3 times r minus x gives me plus 3x. Simplifying further simply gives me 7x subtract 6 over our x brackets 2 minus x. You can expand the denominator if you wish because we cannot cancel down any further. Now let's look at a slightly different question but still using the same method. Here the question wants us to write x over x minus 1, subtract x over x plus 1 as a single fraction in simplest form. So you can see we have some algebraic fractions and we're subtracting. So we know we've got to use the cross multiply method. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So we know we're using the cross multiply method, so let's show it here. Well, it's clear that x multiplied by x plus 1 is illustrated here, x multiplied by x minus 1 is illustrated here, and we're subtracting, so it's illustrated here. Multiplying our denominators, I've still left it in its factorized form. Now expanding gives me x squared plus x, subtract x squared, minus x times r minus 1 is plus x. My denominator still remains the same. Then, simplifying our numerator simply gives me 2x. Given I cannot simplify any further, you can leave your answer as this, or 
you can expand out that denominator to give you 2x over x squared minus 1. Now let's have a look at a slightly harder question. Here the question gives us 4x squared minus 9 over 6x plus 9 multiplied by 2x over x squared minus 3x. We're asked to write it in the form of ax plus b over cx plus d, where a, b, c and d are integers. Now you'll notice we have algebraic fractions and we're multiplying. So that means we're using our prerequisite knowledge on multiplication of fractions. Well, remember, when multiplying fractions, it's very simple. So let's have a look at this example. If you had 2 ninths multiplied by 5 sevenths, it's simply numerator times numerator, which is 10, and denominator times denominator, which is 63. It's exactly the same process with algebraic fractions. So we're going to multiply our numerators and denominators, giving us 2x multiplied by our 4x squared minus 9 is illustrated here, and 6x plus 9 multiplied by our x squared minus 3x is illustrated here. So you may notice we have a difference of two squares. Therefore, our numerator would be 2x, bracket 2x minus 3, and 2x plus 3. Now I can see here 6x plus 9 can be factorized, giving me 3 bracket 2x plus 3. I can also see x squared minus 3x could be factorized. I'm taking out a common factor of x, which I'm putting here, and then I've got x minus 3 as my other factor. Now it's clear to see all the factors that I have, so I can cancel down. Cancelling down a factor of x as the numerator and x as the denominator. Cancelling down 2x plus 3 as a numerator and 2x plus 3 as a denominator. This gives us 2 bracket 2x minus 3 as my numerator and 3 bracket x minus 3 as my denominator. Now remember, the question doesn't ask us for any factorised form so we need to expand, thus giving me a final answer of 4x minus 6 over 3x minus 9. So it's clear that a is 4, b is minus 6, c is 3, and d is minus 9. So let's look at our last question. Here the question wants us to show that 7x minus 14 over x squared plus 4x minus 12 divided by x minus 6 over x cubed minus 36x can be simplified to ax, where a is an integer. Well, you can clearly see we have algebraic fractions and we have division. So we have to use our knowledge on dividing fractions. So let's have a look at a simple question to begin with. Well, we know if we were to divide 2 over 9 by 5 over 7, this would be 2 over 9 multiplied by 7 over 5. Remember, we reciprocate the second fraction and multiply. Then, we know when we multiply, it's 2 times 7, which is 14, and 9 times 5, which is 45. So let's use the same method when talking about algebraic fractions. Just making a little bit of room, let's have a look at our two fractions. And remember, we need to reciprocate the second fraction and then multiply. So this is equivalent to 7x minus 14 over x squared plus 4x minus 12. Reciprocating that second fraction gives us x cubed minus 36x over x minus 6, and then multiplying. Well, just like we did before, let's multiply our numerators and our denominators. From here, let's see if we can use our knowledge on factorization further. I can see 7x minus 14 can be factorised to give 7 bracket x minus 2. I can see x cubed minus 36x can be factorised to give x bracket x squared minus 36. Now looking at our denominator, this can be factorised to give us x plus 6x minus 2, and we don't have to do anything with our x minus 6. Now we've nearly identified all our factors but you can see we have a difference of two squares here. So this gives us 7x, bracket x minus 2, x minus 6 and x plus 6, over x plus 6, x minus 2 and x minus 6. Now it's super easy to cancel out our factors, thus leaving me with simply 7x. So therefore, a is simply 7. So 
In summary, we've gone through what an algebraic fraction is, how to simplify algebraic fractions by identifying factors in the numerator and denominator, and remember it builds on that knowledge on factorization. We've also looked at the language of expressing as a single algebraic fraction, where we're using our knowledge on addition and subtraction, division and multiplication of fractions. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.